Hi, it's Michelle from Michelle Zink at Stamp It. Um, and today we're going to um, be talking about the Windy Vecchi um, Make Art Staycation. It's an all-in-one magnetic surface for stenciling, aligning, embossing, and creating. So let's take a look at this. I think um, I think this is going to be something you're going to want. Uh, So, it's in bubble wrap. Okay, so this is the um, 12 by 12 steel magnetic base. Um, it's got a printed grid on it. It has two holes at the top for hanging, so that's cool. You don't have to just leave it out and, or set it up. You can hang it. Um, Let's see. Oh, there they are. Okay, so it has four brushed aluminum magnets. And they're pretty strong, but they don't pinch your fingers like the other ones. You can put them together, but you can slide them apart as well. And they have a soft rubber piece on the bottom. So here's the ruler. Get this off here, and we'll turn this back over. So this is a centering ruler. You can see it's got the center part on it. It does inches as well as centimeters. So that's very cool and it sticks real, real easy. So, um, okay, let's see what we can do with it. Let's put some, get our magnets out here. Um, what do I got over here? All right, so here's a card base. So let's line that up on some lines. I probably would use it just because I would want to move my stuff around on the top part. So let's see how that works. Get a card base here. Yeah, yeah, that's how I would use it is on the sides for my cards. And then still have an extra one to put on top. And then if I was going to put um, anything on it. I would line that up with my lines. Now I know I have it straight across there, although you can probably see it better than I. I'm not over the top of it, but you get the idea. So if I wanted to put a piece on there, set that on there and get it all lined up. This way I could see what I'm doing, and if I like my card before I get started, what do I have over here? This is paper from the, uh, what is this? Uh, Tropical Travelogues, Graphic 45. And this is one of the chipboard pieces. And I have a little uh, turtle. Keep wanting to call that an owl. <laughs> oh. And then I have this flower. It doesn't really go with it, but we'll just pretend that it does. So there you go. Then you can make up your whole thing, figure out where you want to do your stamping or whatever else you want to do. And you can just layer that up with your magnets. So I like that. Let's see what else we can do with it here. What do I have? I have a stencil here, so let's do that. Okay, so I would put this on here. that all lined up put a couple magnets on that get my ink out actually uh, my inks are have a magnetic base to them too so I could probably put that on there So, um, then you could just rub this all over. This would be great for, oh, I bet you don't even have to hold it. No, you don't. I can rub all over it. So you can put that wherever you wanted it. Then move these down here. 
you get the idea, right? Put those out farther, that wouldn't turn. <laughs> I had them all in one, one area. So now you have this over here. Get these off. Sorry. So now you have a great um, background piece too. So that's kind of cool. This was a, um, a honeycomb thing that I changed the shape on by unlocking it. And then I went in to contour on my Cricut and took some of those out so it wouldn't be the whole way. I was going to use it on a project. Let's see what else I got over here. Okay, here's a sheet of 12 by 12 because you can do um, your scrapbooking on there too. So let me this out. If you were lining up your things, you could put them on there. Again, I'm just doing this pretty quickly, so I don't really have a plan here. Uh, what else? Put something in the center here. How does that go that way? And then I could bring my ruler, which I left attached there. <laughs> I could bring my ruler in and figure out where the center of that is so I could have it. Okay. So there. And then you could do the same thing. Work all your pages, put your photos on there so you know where you want, what you want, where, your journaling, all that. Um, and you just hook it up with this and you don't have to tape anything down until you're at the end and you know that's what you want. Because now you can move this. You can bring in some journaling tags or, you know, whatever you want to do. It, it all works. So, um, okay, well, that's the Windy Vicky Staycation. And you can also emboss on it. I don't have any embossing powders with me, but you can use your craft mat on the top um, and then do all your embossing right on there. So this is a great tool. I love it. I think um, it's going to be very useful. And it is called the Windy Vecchi Station. There it is again. And I got mine at um, it's all about the scrapbook. I'll save a link down below. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe up here. And if you, uh, I'll put more videos over here that you might be interested in. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon.